Welcome to Taisha's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make kuri gohan. So kuri means chestnuts and gohan means rice. So kuri gohan is chestnuts mixed Japanese rice. So this is a special dish that I like to make in the autumn because chestnuts is just autumnly. And in Japanese cuisine or Japanese food, we try to incorporate what's in the season. Not only because it tastes good, but also comes from the Eastern medicine philosophy where it says what is grown naturally in the season has the nutrients what your body needs for this season. So in the summer you find naturally cucumbers, tomatoes, eggplants, watermelon, or like a lot of the fruit vegetable or fruits. Those tend to cool down your body. In comparison in the winter, you find a lot of leafy vegetable like napa cabbage, uh, spinach, or lettuce, but also root vegetable like radish, carrots, potatoes, and they tend to warm up your body from inside. And of course, chestnuts, you can find fresh only in the autumn. So I like to make this at least a couple times in the autumn. And it's actually very easy and it's very tasty. Then, let's get started. Here are the ingredients for kurigohan, or chestnuts cooked rice. So I have chestnuts, rice, and a little bit of salt. Here I have one cup of rice, that's going to be enough for one to two person. And for one cup of rice, I'm going to have about 200 to 300 gram of chestnuts. Here I have about 300 gram, because I like to have a lot of chestnuts. Before we go into cooking, I want to show you how to choose the right chestnuts. So the principle, you want to find chestnuts that are really full. So this is really hard and you kind of see that it's round. Also, another good sign is if you have chestnuts like these where you have cracks, that means the inside is so expanded the outside can't hold it anymore and you have a crack like this. So it means it's full. You want to avoid chestnuts like these where it doesn't look so expanding or round and if you kind of press it like here, it kind of dent inside. You want to avoid chestnuts like that dense. This doesn't look as round as compared to like this. Now I want to peel the chestnuts, but it's very difficult to peel the chestnuts when it's raw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat the chestnuts in a pan. I'm going to put some water and then put the chestnuts. I'm going to pre-cook this in pot and I'm going to soften the outside layer so you can easily peel them off. So I'm going to turn the heat to high and let it come to boil. So this is starting to boil. I'm going to turn the heat to medium and let it boil for five minutes. So this is cooking for five minutes now. I'm gonna turn the heat off and bring this to cutting board. Be careful, this is very hot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut in half, doesn't matter which way, and then it peels off right out like this. Ooh, this isn't looking very good, so I'm gonna discard that. So chestnuts do have like this, and you can't see that from outside. So let's take the second one, cut it in half, and this just kind of easily peels off like this. It's very hot, so be careful. So you want to get rid of this thin skin as well. So try to get as much skin out of this. Can't get all out, it's okay. So you have like this black part, you can just take that part off. So try to get as much skin off, but you can't. Then you can just kind of peel it off with your knife. And you also want to put the lid on because as it cools off, it gets more difficult to peel off the skin. It's very hot, so Please be careful you don't burn your fingers. It's 
So I separate the skin from the inside. And what I like to do is I like to cut this in half so it's more of a bite-sized piece and also that it gets uh, evenly spread out when you eat them. But if you like it chunky, then you can just have it uh, clump like this. And in this process, you also get to find the leftover skin, which you want to take out. So let's put this in the rice. So the rice has been soaked in water for about an hour now. And in this, I'm going to put in quarter teaspoon of salt. So this is a half teaspoon. I'm going to put half of that. So that's enough. You don't want to put too much salt. Usually we don't cook rice with salt, but because we put in the chestnuts, the salt kind of brings out the sweetness of the chestnuts. And then I'm going to put in the chestnuts like this. Try to spread it evenly and then put the lid on and we're just gonna cook this as we would normally cook rice. So we're gonna first bring to this a boil and then cook this and simmer for 10 minutes and then let it sit for 10 more minutes. So let's turn the heat to high and we're gonna wait till it boils. So this has come to a boil. I'm gonna turn the heat to simmer and let it cook for 10 more minutes. So this has been about 10 minutes now. I'm going to turn the heat off and let it steam without heating for 10 more minutes. So the 10 minutes has passed. Mmm, smells really good. So I'm gonna wet the spatula. So let's see. So I'm not gonna mix this, otherwise the, the chestnuts will kind of fall into apart. Mmm, this looks really good. Okay, this is finished, let's eat. Mmm, smells so good. So, let's eat. Itadakimasu! Mmm, let's enjoy this. Mmm, mmm. Oh, this is so good. This is really for me an autumn flavor. Mmm. Mmm. The sweetness of the chestnuts matches perfectly and a little bit salted. Really pushes the sweetness of the chestnuts forward. Mmm. Oh, this is really autumn. Mmm. So with this, I would only match like a very lightly flavored soup. Bosuimono is really good for that and maybe one more very lightly flavored dish like grilled fish or some kind of very light meat dish. Mmm. This is really, really just awesome flavor. Mmm. This is also great for bento in autumn. Mm. I'll be really excited to have this as bento. Mm. Oh, this is really good. Gosozamashita! Oh, that was really delicious. So, I hope this was something new for you. This is something you probably don't ever see in mainstream Japanese food or something. But nonetheless, this is also part of Japanese cuisine and it's really simple yet very delicious. Again, this is very seasonal and you can only have this in this autumn season. I hope it gave you new ideas for your cooking. And if you like what you saw, please subscribe and I look forward to see you in the next video. Bye!